bloody pedal steel guitar then? You told me there's a pedal steel guitar in this band, but there isn't. The, owner, the new owner is coming. I've told you once, he's a rather big enthusiast of country and western music, and these look distinctly like modernist keyboards to me. Is this a modernist band? Who are you? Is what? this a modernist band? I don't know, I don't know. What are these keyboards then? A Yamaha, Prophet, no chance of making that round here. These drums as well, these don't look like Hank Williams drums. We were promised the late Hank Williams. Ha, huh, but of course he's never on time. This bass drum's no good. Boy, where's the band's name? We want the band's name on the front. The new owner needs to know who's playing. He's paying for it all. He wants to know the name of the band. It's good enough for the Beatles. It's good enough for the Rolling Stones. I certainly think it's good enough for these people. Busy. I'm sorry, excuse me. You know, I'm only the manager. It's only my job that will be lost. No, I'm sure I'm sure you'll be okay. You can drive off to your next gig. It's not so easy for me with this family of Filipino children, a brothel to run. You enjoy yourself, you know. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. ha, 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 ha. I'm out great. I'm out of a job. Great. I'm out of a job. Great. You know, the new owner sees that he'll say, where's the cunt? young lads, it doesn't matter how many really, several young lads who hail from the West Midlands. Ladies and gentlemen, the general public.
was on tour of the Stones, right? Uh, it was uh, Hollywood Bowl. And uh, one night, like, I thought, I'm going to Beverly Hills, right? And uh, anyway, I knocked on his door, right? And it's amazingly beautiful bird, aren't it? Do you know what I mean, over? Yeah, right, it's amazingly beautiful blonde, over. Yeah, but I mean, not that far, But I mean, amazing, right? And, and like, she never said a word, right? She just grabbed me, dragged me upstairs, and ripped all my clothes off. Do you know what I mean, over? Yeah, she uh, ripped your clothes right off, over. And then, right, I realised, hang on. And I realised who she was. And do you know who she was, over? Don't tell me Snow White, over. Fred, uh, it's got a bit of a problem here, over. Uh, yeah, what is it, mate? I don't know, I've got something warm and wet in my ear, mate, over. Uh, do you want me to come and give you an hand, over? No, I think she'll do it for me, mate, over. How come you always here so early? What are you, a bartender or a detective? Oh, but you're here so early. But I'm here so early. Maybe the early bird catches the worm, Mr. Dudu. To... Birds to arrive, last to leave. Oh, yes, yes. I haven't thought of it that way. But you enjoy yourself here. I love it here. I live to come here. This club is my life. This is my raison d'être, Mr. Ludo. This is why I live. And also because I'm not particularly busy. So I, I come can. in. Hi, Dickie! Novel. Uh, listen, are we well stocked up this evening? Mm, the yes. bar fully stocked, is it? Absolutely we have, everything. We have two particularly important things. Yes. Coming up. We've got Bruce Springsteen, the greatest living country singing drummer on earth. There's something to look forward to there. And the... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm doing an interview with Bruce Springsteen, so if you no. could just... No, don't you are. Uh, oh, I... Do you have a backstage for us? Oh, well, I usually use these. Are those valid for tonight? New owner who none of us have met, and I want to impress him. I don't want him coming in and it being. In fact, look at this. We've got to get these peanuts stocked up. We've got to get the asteroids stocked up. It's all right. Okay, so if I could just get through. Um... Yeah. Well, listen, we've um, we've been with Bruce now for how long have we been now? Two, three, four, five minutes. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> Sir, it's a pleasure to have you on our club. Can I call you Bruce? Thanks yeah, a lot. I'm for not coming. Bruce, all right? Yeah. Oh. Bruce, I should have recognised you. I've got your album glass out. I should have recognised you from the cover. It's really great to see no, you. No, it'll, be, it'll be arriving later. Yeah. Right. Listen, these tables have got to go. Shift them out. No. Yeah. OK. What do you mean the tables have got to go? Look, there's no way we're going to get our gear on this stage. Yeah, right? no way. Just no way. No Couldn't the boys just play a little bit closer together? I've seen matchboxes bigger than this stage, right? Yeah, there's no way the band's going to play on a matchbox, right? Fire hazards, yeah? No way. Listen, uh, we could uh, build out the stage 10, 20 foot, would you? Now, look, take the bar back a couple of feet, okay? Sure, yeah, yeah we'll do that. Yeah. That wall's going to have to go. Sure, and the ceiling up 20 feet, I should get the helicopter through. Right? Oh, they have got a paddy, you've got a paddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, sure. so, I'm sorry, look, so we then, just, I'm sorry, we just can't do that. Look, we're talking 50k rigs yeah. here, right? 50k, right? I mean, even if we lost a couple of uh, base pins, you know, maybe a few horns, I mean. <laughs> just can't do it, there's no way. No way. No. Listen, we're just going to have to pull it, right? Pull yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull what? Pull it, pull it. Pull the gig. Yeah. All right. The pull the gig, right? Consider it pulled, right? Yeah. Pull it. Pull it's it. Pull. Okay, pull it. Get your stuff, okay, brother, shall we? Get your stuff back in the trucks. Don't make me laugh, all right? Yeah. I said don't make me laugh. Right, come on. Let's get this stuff out, yeah, shall yeah. we? Yeah. Hey, bro. Good evening, sir. Oh, dear. Welcome to the rebellious jukebox. You must be the new owner. That you didn't know, boy! <laughs> Woo! Hey, can you help me with my shirts there? Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, son, you mind parking my car for me? I suppose you want me to wash it and all. Oh, hell yeah, give it to work. We now give you Lord of the New Church.
Welcome, sir, to our club. I mean, welcome to your club, sir ownership. Here, yeah. I seem to pick up some static electricity on the way over. You all right? Okay, sir. Please don't worry about me at all. Mm. Um, I, sir, am Richard Dido, your manager of your club entirely at your service. You okay if I call you Dicky? Please do, sir. <laughs> well then, Dicky, how are you doing, boy? I manage, sir. What do you think of your club? Look. Well, it's a different. I never owned anything quite like this before. I did own a set of golf clubs once, though. The golf club, sir? Yeah, I owned the uh, Kansas City Golf Club, Miami Golf Club, and the Three Mile Island Golf Club. I didn't play there much, though. Hey, Dickie, can, can you answer me a question? What do I pay you for? Well, you know, a man does have to eat, sir. Let's face it. No, I don't mean that. I mean, is this club happening? Are you cost-effective? Are you boilerplate, son? I, sir, if I may say so, am indispensable. Without me, sir, this club, if I may use this parallel, would be like a ship without a rudder, would be floundering in the stormy sea of life to be crushed horribly and violently on the rocks of the creditors and all the other hungry sharks and surly bastards which hang around here every evening. You mean I pay you to go sailing? I know, I speak metaphorically, meta meta sir. Meta no, no, son, you speak to the back of your neck. <laughs> yes, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> What a sense of humor you have, if I may say, sir. You're fitting very well, indeed. My rebellious jukebox. Crayons, how you doing? Listen, I just thought of something that might work as a movie. 
Listen, we're gonna open up on a dollar shot. Then we're gonna track in and we can pull focus on the aspirant. And then we get a good, nice close up on a Lumar, right? And then we're just gonna follow this guy around all day long as he talks through the back of his neck. What do you think? Ronald Reagan beat us to it, huh? I thought he only did Bonzo Goes to Washington movies, Cranston. Well, you were into movies, huh? Movies? Dickie? Movies is my life, Dickie. Some people see faces in clouds, and some people see clouds in faces. Dickie, I just see movies. Everything I see, I see movies. Ten roads. No one's called me a man. All right. About eighty-six. That's more like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, how would you like to earn some money? Being a customs officer is the best way I can think of. No, 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 no. I mean, how would you like to earn fifty quid? Playing a few songs till the band turns up. All right. It's a lot of bread, man. All right, make it 15. Done. Good evening, sir. May I get you a Oh, not for me, thanks. I never touch stuff. Gives me cinema scope. Turn around. Hey. Uh, so, uh, you like you like movies, huh? Yeah, I like movies. And who in the hell are you, son? Well, Bubba. Bubba what? <laughs> Bubba Zeke Rosenberg. Glad to meet you, Bubba. And Bubba, listen to this, boy. I am movies. Some people see faces in clouds. And some people see clouds and faces. Up there, Bubba, you gotta get the motivation, son. But I just see movies everywhere I look. And in everything, I see movies. Man, you see movies in everything? Everything. Movies is bucks, and bucks is movies. And in movies, you can make bucks, and you gotta go out there and grab for it. You gotta take the steer by the horn. You gotta take the pig by the tail. Son, you only go around once in life, and you gotta grab for the guts. Do you think there might be a movie in May? No. Hey, you like movies? Nah. Aren't you gonna ask me if I like movies? Do you? I am movies, boy! Some people see spots in front of their eyes. Some people see eyes in front of their spots. But me, I see movies! Well, tell me what movie you see in this. Close Encounters, Scar Scarface, it's not Bambi, right? Bambi? Here, man, you got a Jack? No. You got a Dean? No. One wrong. A Jack, Dean. Listen, I don't see why we should have to chew ourselves up, man. All the effort fans, they can't down for them, right? Oi, oi, Kai, right? Kai, right. get on with it. Kai, bro. Let's do a sound check. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. One, two. A one, two, three, four. Just clean. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful look. What is that, post-impressionism? No, it's post-mortem. What's the matter? Why isn't this man playing? We paid you. Why isn't this man playing? Because he's dead, man. There's no problem whatsoever. He's just taking a slight meditation break and he'll be with you. Just one minute left and left his boys are gone. Stop him to play. Make him play. Well, that's like a bit difficult, man, because he's supposed to be my friend. Ships, weapons, and aircraft of the Royal Navy are amongst the most advanced in the world. And we're currently looking for men who are their equal. Young men with A-levels or a degree. Because although it may now look like science fiction, as an officer in the Royal Navy, it'll be science fact. See the advertisement in this week's TV Times or phone the Royal Navy on Worthing 776-116. Oh, Bailey. 
ice. Oh, nice. Fresh cream and fine old Irish whiskey laced with pure magic. Baileys. Even in your wildest dreams, anything less would be quite unthinkable. Fantastic. You wouldn't think it was possible, really, would you? Hmm. I don't know where we'd be without the fridge. Baileys. The original Irish dream. There are big savings on all the big names at your electricity board shop sale. Don't miss it. A daiquiri for the lady. What do people drink around here? Oh. Uh, perhaps I'll have a pint of Strongbow. <laughs> Strongbow. Strong, straight, true. I reckon there's three things you need to enjoy a flight all the way to Aussie. See, you can really relax in some understanding service. Oh, very nice. And a bit of civilised company. Hello, Possum. How are you today? Oh, well, two out of three's not bad. <laughs> Qantas, big on creature comforts. Take a hint of fruit with clear, sparkling spring water. New Piermont. Clean, light, refreshing. Piermont with the hint of fruit. Go on, take the hint. Texas too. Oh, go on. Where about you from? Where about are you from? I'm from Dallas. I'm from Dallas. No, go on, yes, I am. Oh, brother. Whoa. Well, which street you from? Which street are you from? I'm from Alamo Avenue. I'm from Alamo Avenue. No, go on. No. Oh, north side? Are you from the north side? Yeah, I'm from north side. I'm from the north oh, side. Too. <laughs> I can tell by your accent. You yep. got a you got a north side of Alamo Avenue accent. Around number 146. 13. Oh, you were One, so close. 13. <laughs> what the hell is in a number anyway? I don't know. Shakespeare said that. Who? Shakespeare. Oh, he was a writer. Yeah, okay. Like uh, that. You, you, you remember David Crockett's drugstore? Do I? Do I remember David Crockett's yeah, drugstore? David Crockett's drugstore. <laughs> Yeah. Where are we going to put him? Well, I would have said in the blender, but I think probably best stick him in here. Thank you. Get the other one. Hi. How you doing? I'm with Rolling Stone. You know, the magazine that was really big in the 60s, even bigger in the 70s, and then disappeared altogether in the 80s. Could I do an interview? Oh, he'll do great things for your image, and maybe in my career, you know, who knows? It might even do us both some good. So, uh, what'd you say your name was? And you don't like this sort of thing, you know? Excuse me. Could you take a picture of the two of us together? Just a real quick picture of the two of us together? Uh, um, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Here, it just comes off my wrist like this. Oh, great, 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 great. Oh, you nasty little thing. Ooh, is that a wallet in your pocket? You're just glad to see me. Oh, I'm only kidding. Okay, great, great, terrific. Okay, I'm gonna start the interview right now. Do you remember Hunch Miller? Hunch Miller was... That's the one? That's him? Is he kidding to Shakespeare? No! Oh, Hunch Miller. No. Hunch Miller, oh, him. he died last week, the poor son of a bitch. Yeah, he got run over by a model train. Yeah, it was the damnedest thing I ever seen. He fell asleep on the line. The little boy started up the train, and the train goes in through one ear, does a lot of damage right in the middle, and it comes right out the other side and makes a big double-O gauge hole right through his brain. The damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, boy, poor hunch. Yeah. <laughs> You've got good stories, but I love you! And you know, Guy, there's something else I couldn't stand about you, right? Now, you listen to me, man. It was like how you always used to call me Tommy in front of my girlfriends. Like, because my name's Mike, you know? I was really cut up about that, man. 
And what about that time when you slept with my chick? I mean, I wouldn't have minded quite so much if you'd wait till I got out of the sleeping bag. We was on our honeymoon as well. What comes first in your music? The words or the music? Or the drugs? I'm only kidding about the drugs. I know you guys don't do any. Do you have any? Ladies and gentlemen, in my capacity of manager of this club, I'm overworked, I'm overpaid, and I'm going to now give you a group whose magnificence exceeds even my intelligence, were it possible. A band who have recently returned from a whole tour of Germany, and they assure me they didn't mention the war once. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the eternal reflex. Hang on a moment. You stupid Wally! Now look, Trev, I, I've had a pretty rough day, and I think I've, I've got something here, you know, that could develop, and I don't want you swearing at me like that. Right, over? No, thanks. Over? None taken. Over? None, mate. Over. None heard, mate. Over. None spoken, over. We're going to be in the coming stage in a minute, Steve, so I'm going down the dressing room area. Over. Uh, all right, mate. I'll, I'll join you in about two hours, mate. Over. a new phase of happiness and personal growth because Saturn was moving into my house. I thought, well, that's going to be a bit difficult because, like, there's already four of us in there, right? And the dog. 
But I suppose if he does the washing up, yeah. I never looked at it like that, really. Let's go to the other bar. Let's go to the other bar. Let's go to the other bar. I'll go up the other bar. Why not? There's a nutter up there. What's the matter? There's a nutter. I said, don't listen, pal. Don't use that sort of language. Really. What sort of language was he using? Cantonese. Yeah. I don't understand a word he said. No, of course not. No, yeah. Pointless. Well, he starts doing all this citizen's arrest stuff on me. What's the citizen's arrest? Same as being arrested by a policeman. Yeah. Except you don't get that searing pain in your body. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. is clear. As new, Porsche 924 looks only 1900. Must be a wrong one. How can you tell without looking? Well, there must be a dozen 924s here, and not one under three and a half grand. When you've looked at your local paper, check the prices in Exchange and Mart to see if you're paying over the odds. It's packed with Porsches and pianos and everything else you could possibly want. More than any other magazine. Exchange and Mart every Thursday. It could stop you making a monkey of yourself. the word, girl. Scritty Politty are at our price. Scritty Politty with their huge hit single, The Word Girl. Find this plus would-be's and absolute on their fantastic new album, Cupid and Psyche 85. It's in the chart now at your local Our Price record shop. So bag a copy today. Get down. For a perfect summer's day, everything's got to be right. The sea, the company, and the view. And what better sight than the clear gold of a Hofmeister lager? Over the sea and the wind in your hair. Rebellion Ask yourselves how far you've come, and the answer will be not as far as this band who have come all the way from Brisbane, Australia tonight, and not that they live there, they just happen to be touring there, to play here in this club tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the...
in store Now he sees where life was taken Fighting me growing cold This city's more Just watch the wheel of time rev on. But why is this not what I'm thinking? It's just one mind in the unknown. Let's see. if you hadn't been so ingenious to put them together. Well, this thing would probably still be a school teacher. I finished my symphony and Andy would have gone blind from Thank you for being so candid. Oh, hey, Slim. Oh, you don't look too good. I don't feel too good. I think it must have been something I ate. Anyone I know? You are depressed, boy. Well, I guess I'm drunk. I, Bubba, I know just thing for you, Bubba. Let me buy you a video. What? Yeah, let me buy you a video, okay? We are yeah, come on, Ludo, get the video jukebox. Thank you, Slim. Oh, that's all right. You want to make a selection? It's just my choice. Well, whatever you like, I'll all right. Like. All right, all right. Here we go. Can you hear me, Trev? Come in. Over. Yeah, hello, Steve. This is uh, Trev here. Read you loud and clear. Over. I oh, had a rough night last night. Over. Did you? Over. Yeah, I took this chick back to my place. We were at it all night. You know what I mean? Over. Yeah, right. I know what you mean. You were at it all night, right? Over. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't quite catch that. Over. No, nor did I. Uh, Trev, can you hear me now? Over. Uh, yes, I can hear you. What's the trouble, over? You're pissing on my head. Over. 